I think, didn't they say to not you? All right, well, a couple of tremendous athletes set to square off in our next bout on Friday Night Fights at the 160-pound level for the introductions to a three-round affair. We send it up to our ring announcer for the evening, Mr. Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for three more rounds of action out of the lightweight division tonight, representing Koban's Muay Thai, with a record of eight and two, from Brooklyn, New York, Arkeem Tupac Sanford. And fighting out of the blue corner tonight, he represents Anderson's and uh, sorry, martial arts with a record of five and one from right here in New York City, David Airwalker Agboji. Gentlemen, we went over the rules earlier, all right? Pay my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Touch gloves, fight for the goal. Our third man in the ring for this next bout, Robert Scott. Letting our two combatants know the rules they must play by. It'll be David Ogbaji, AKA the Airwalker and the all white trunks on the right side of your screen going up against Arkeem Sanford. Goes by the name of Tupac. A nickname bestowed upon him by some teammates who say that he looks like the late grade rap sensation. Sanford's come out fast right there. He landed two or three low kicks, and he's forced uh, David Lee to change his uh, stance. A well, side kick there from David A, but it's Sanford, the more effective puncher so far. To see the length of Agbaji covers a lot of ground with not much effort. This fight taking place at 159 pounds. Both men came in a pound under yesterday at the weigh-in. Agbaji, 28 years of age, comes in with a record of five and one. Arkeem Sanford at six and two. Well, axe kick try finds air for the air walker. Oh, teep up high. That one, that one found a home for Agbaji. Came up to the face. The, the crowd will like that. Mini, missed on the spinning back fist. Underhooks for, I should say, an over-under for Sanford briefly. Now, two men break themselves up, and Sanford basically muscles. Nice trip. Nice trip from Sanford right there. He waited for the knee from David A, and then took the sweep. Long teep again from Agbaji. Time winding down in this first round. A frenetic pace between these two young men. Sanford muscling his way in. I think Sanford has realized he has a distinct advantage in the clinch. David A is very strong, but his clinch is uh, its not as educated as Sanford's is. So Arkeem Sanford in the purple trunks fighting out of Coban's gym, Midtown Manhattan. See the best moment of the first round for David Akbaji with that long teeth. Second one was not nearly as effective. Here's that sweep that's gonna happen right here, watch. David A puts up his knee, and Sanford goes right underneath it. And that's just a ring awareness, right, Primo? Just understanding what your opponent's trying to do and taking full advantage. Absolutely. That just, you know, it just comes from time. Clinch is one of those things you just learn over time. These two men share a common opponent. David Agbaji beat Clifford Francois back in June, right here on Friday Night Fights at the Broad Street Ballroom. Arkeem Sanford lost to Francois last December at this very same venue. But Sanford had a nice showing in that first round. Let's see how things go in round two. We are scheduled for three here at 160 pounds.
the low kick has landed just about nearly every time that Sanford has thrown it. I'd, I'd really like to see him go back to that. Just keep going to the well on that. Agbaji with a nice side advantage over Sanford. Agbaji at six foot one, wearing the white trunks. Arkeem Sanford wearing the purple. Agbaji tries the overhand right. Didn't quite get there. Nice combination by Sanford. David A has decided to just cover, wait for an opportunity, and throw that overhand right. Sanford with good movement so far. I'd really like to see once David A covers, Sanford throws some pity patty punches and then land that hard low kick. A little bit of a turn there from Sanford. He's looked strong in this first round and a half. Sanford again representing Cobons in New York City. David A out of Anderson's Martial Arts. Nice leaping front kick there by Agbaji. Agbaji tries to go up high again and use that length to his advantage, but Sanford has done a good job kind of neutralizing that four inch height advantage. There's a nice sweep by David A. Actually, it was an illegal sweep. He used the inside of his heel. Not a nice sweep at all, is what I say. <laughs> Sorry about There's that. There's the bell. No, you have to tell me these things, Primo. I yeah. appreciate it. There's the, the rules will state that you can't use the uh, the the back of your heel, right? You're, Rob, al you're allowed to sweep. You're not allowed to trip. But Robert Scott did not seem to notify Agbaji of that infraction. Sometimes it's hard. It's hard to see as a referee. You're busy watching guys get hit. You're looking at the upper body. They get clinched up, you're watching, and then one guy goes down. You didn't. Sometimes it's really hard to see the little thing that happened way down at the floor. Some good glove work by Arkeem Sanford in that second round. There was a nice knee by David Agbaji, but it was Sanford able to kind of regain control and take David A down. So we're through two rounds of a Schedule 3. You're watching Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino, as well as Lucky Strike. We come to you from the Broad Street Ballroom, in Lower Manhattan, my name's Ari Elagami. My broadcast partner is the great Primo Bellarosa, the head coach at Vision Quest Muay Thai in Westchester, New York. Round three underway between David Agbaji in the white trunks out of Anderson's Martial Arts in NYC and Arkeem Sanford from Cobans, also in New York City. This fight could be very much hanging in the balance right now. Sanford relentlessly pushing forward right now, trying to take away from that range of uh, David Ed. Akbaji now putting all his weight on Sanford up against the ropes. Akbaji trying to switch up with the Teeps. Sanford keeping his head down, charging in, and he's intelligently not letting Agbaji get those arms and legs extended. You can yeah. see the, the physical skills of Agbaji being neutralized. He's here. negating the reach of, of, of David Egg. And like I said in, 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 in the first round, I think Stanford's realized that you know he has a distinct advantage in the clinch. This is where Airwalker wants to be at distance. Sanford has not let him get there so far. Straight right from David A, though. That got Arkeem's attention. And a high kick to the jaw, and then a spinning back kick. Lands, both men off balance. Sanford goes down. 30 seconds left, and David A closed this show in style. Sanford coming right back. That was just off balance. Baji looking to finish strong here. Final 10 seconds. Rolling Thunder? Not no. even close. <laughs> <laughs> what would you call that then? I'm not exactly sure what I'd call that. I mean, it was a, it was a solid attempt, but it, was, uh, it wasn't even close to landing. But that was the move he was efforting. Right that there. was the move, okay. yes, sir. <laughs> 
So David Ogbaji and Arkeem Sanford go the distance here on Friday Night Fights. And Ogbaji finally seemed to kind of get into his rhythm in that third round. Primo. Yeah, it took him a little while to do it. I mean, a lot of it was, uh, you know, kind of sound and fury. Not signifying a lot. Uh, you know, a lot of spinning kicks, a lot of jump kicks that weren't really landing that well. So what do you do in that case as a judge, Primo? What are you looking for? We don't see, neither guy was ever really staggered in this fight. So when you don't see those big blows making an impact, what are you basing your decision on? I look for the accumulation of blows. I look for, I look, I look for solid, solid technique. I look for uh, solid contact that's having an effect, controlling the fight. This 160-pound matchup goes the distance. Robert Scott gathers the two combatants in the center of the ring. We await the official particulars. Here is Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we do have a winner. Judge A sees this 30-27. Judge B sees this 28-29. The first one was in favor of the blue corner, the second in favor of the red. Lastly, Judge C sees this 30-27 in favor of David Airwalker Agboji. Tough break for Arkeem Sanford, Primo. I thought, I, not to say that he necessarily won the fight, but I thought he had a little better showing than 30-27 to on two cards. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll say it, I thought he won the fight. Uh, you know, I not not that it was a bad fight by David A, uh, but like I said, I think it was a lot of a lot of sound and fury signifying nothing. There was uh, he landed some good shots, but there was a lot of there was a lot of ooh and ah combinations that were thrown that the crowd enjoyed, but didn't really have that big of an effect. I had Sanford controlling most of the fight. He was dominating the clinch and and landing good punches. I I had him winning the fight. But nevertheless, the judges see it differently. A split decision win for David Airwalker Ogbaji. As we check out some of the action from our third and final round, Ogbaji out of Anderson's Martial Arts Academy in Lower Manhattan improves to six and one. Arkeem Tupac Sanford falls to six and three. You are watching Friday Night Fights Muay Thai, brought to you by Mohegan Sun.